Now, speaking about Apple, uh, we've been following pretty closely some of the problems around game streaming services on iOS for both iPad, uh, iPad OS and iOS. How Facebook had an issue with them. Microsoft had an issue with them. Obviously, the famous Epic issue, which is kind of separate, but how Apple is tr really not interested in hosting game streaming apps in the fashion that they're currently constructed. They're they're sitting there saying, yeah, okay, you can come on our platform. Just all you got to do is split up all the games and make yeah. them individually available on the App Store. And then the, the company's like, well, that's kind of not what game streaming is. Yeah. It's kind of not how... That's... That would be like telling Netflix to split up yeah. all of the offerings within the app and sell them individually on the App Store. Like, hey, that's super annoying. That would be insane. Do not do that? It would be insane and it Apple. would kill the entire concept of the thing. So... Who knows if Apple's going to change? I hope they change. It's a bit unfortunate at the moment that iOS users aren't going to be able to really experience some of these fun game streaming services which are emerging and picking up steam. Now, Stadia had a bit of a, a rocky start to things, but Google's a big company, Will, and they're doubling down. They talked about Stadia in today's event. Hmm. You recall? Mm -hmm. It was a topic of conversation. They had Dashy in there. He was playing on, a, on, the, on the bench. Yeah, Dashy. Getting yeah. all fired up. Well, other streaming services are coming online too, right? Yeah, of course. Like no, no, Amazon and Amazon Nvidia is in, is in there. Yes, thing. yes. Microsoft. It's, it's yeah. the hot new thing, and and so I know a lot of iOS users are wondering: Am I completely left behind, or is there a way? Well, there is a way, and this is it's kind of something that. Well, I'm glad it's there if it's going to be the only thing, but it's also concerning to me that this may be the way people have to experience these streaming services, which is through a browser. Mm. And it's a weird workaround, and obviously performance has the potential to suffer. Uh, there's a new app. It's a browser app called Stadium, which allows you to run Stadia through a full-screen, mostly single-page serving browser. It kind of is a browser that you'll have essentially for a single functionality just to pretend that, you're, that Stadia works on your iPhone. <laughs> has some uh, 4.9 stars, 29 rating. So mm. I don't know. Does this... Would this stay up forever? Does is is Apple supportive of this? I don't know, but for in, in the meantime, it works. So here's a report from Lifehacker. We were able to download the Stadium and play a couple of games. Our results were mixed. Stadia's interface didn't scale properly to our iPhone's display, and the DualShock 4 controller we used disconnected in the middle of the game. However, from the Reddit comments, it seems like the iPad screen aspect ratio offers a much better experience with multiple users reporting that a workaround, this workaround works perfectly for them. So it's a workaround. Let's not get carried away. It's just a workaround, but it's better than nothing. And uh, maybe Apple will see that so many are interested in using these various game streaming services and they're not necessarily satisfied with Apple's arcade product and they want to do these other things. Right. We'll see what develops over there.